There are many mysterious and inexplicable phenomena that exist on our planet, and some of the most intriguing are the strange and unusual holes that have been discovered around the world. From giant sinkholes that have swallowed entire cities to bottomless pits that defy explanation, we'll take you on a tour of some of the most peculiar and puzzling holes on the planet. These are the 20 strangest holes on Earth. Number 20. New Gualamata City Sinkhole Unlike the other sinkholes that we'll see later in our list, this is not a beautiful blue hole created by nature. Oh no, this is a big old gaping eyesore in the middle of a city that was caused by human behavior and not a natural phenomenon. This hole appeared out of nowhere, only now scientists solve the mystery. This massive hole is in the middle of Guatemala City. It measures 60 feet wide and is 300 feet deep. It opened up in the aftermath of the deluge that followed the tropical storm Agatha back in 2010. But although that was the final straw that opened up the ground, all the human activity prior to the storm is what created the perfect conditions for the huge hole to appear. The city's underground infrastructure is most likely to blame for the thorough way in which that hole collapsed. The natural pumice that makes up the first few hundred meters of the ground in this volcanic area is loose and hasn't hardened into solid rock. So it's a prime candidate for movement and collapse, especially when combined with the digging, pipe laying, and foundation building that cities create underground. All the conditions for sinkhole creation were in place when the flood of excess rainwater finished off the job, and boom, the big hole appeared. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. This hole appeared out of nowhere, only now have scientists solved the mystery. In 2014, residents in Russia would wake up to a startling sight. A massive sinkhole had appeared in the middle of their town, swallowing buildings and homes. People were left bewildered, wondering what could have caused the sudden catastrophe. For many years, scientists struggled to find an explanation for the sinkhole's appearance. However, recent studies have revealed that the sinkhole was likely caused by a giant salt mine that was located beneath the town. Over time, the mine's support pillars had weakened, causing the ground above to collapse. This mine sinkhole serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the dangers of human activity on the planet. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below by using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. Mystery Hole Appears in Siberian Tundra all this flying around in helicopters and whizzing drones around, and not to mention Google Earth, has made a lot of things much more noticeable than they ever were when we were stuck looking at stuff from the surface of the planet. So there seems to be a lot more weird and mysterious massive things appearing all over the show than we've ever seen before. Now the question becomes, are there more weird things, or were they always there, but we just couldn't see them? So here's one such oddity for your eyeballs. This is a massive crater that seems to have appeared as if out of nowhere right in the arctic tundra of siberia as a russian television crew flew over the area they spotted what looked like the site of a massive explosion there were huge blocks of ice and earth just scattered around the landscape all seeming to have blasted outwards from the center of the colossal crater so what could cause such a thing is this the work of an errant missile or some sort of secret nefarious weapons testing out in the middle of nowhere well maybe but the official explanation or as close to one as they're ever going to give that nobody actually knows is that it's most likely caused by the explosion of methane and carbon dioxide gases that get trapped within heaps of ice and dirt Dirt. However, they don't really know this for sure. They also say that this might happen more often as the climate continues to warm, but then again, they don't really know. And that's all extremely helpful now, isn't it? Number 18. Seema Humboldt 
The enormous sinkhole of Sima Humboldt, also known as Sima Major, appears from the sky as though it's a huge cutout hole in the middle of the forest. Named after an explorer and scientist, Alexander von Humboldt, this sinkhole is actually located at the summit of Sares Saranama Tepu in Venezuela, South America. It's truly enormous and is known to measure 1,155 feet across at its widest point on the surface and as much as 1,647 feet across at the widest point below the surface. The sinkhole was only first spotted in 1961 when a pilot by the name of Harry Gibson flew overhead. It then remained unexplored for a further decade before people ventured inside to have a proper poke about. This is one of two colossal sinkholes in the area, the other being Sima Martel being close by. All of the various holes and such like are places where intrepid travelers like to go to explore the caves of the area. Number 17. Kola Super Deep Borehole this particular hole is the very deepest man-made hole on all of planet Earth. This Russian hole is tucked away amongst the lakes and forests of the snowy landscape of the Kola Peninsula in the Arctic Circle. And what better place to have a massive, scary hole than in an abandoned Soviet scientific research facility in the snow? As well as all of the obvious features of being a massive, deep hole, this particular place is so deep that people have begun to speculate about whether it might just be the entrance to hell. Well, of course, in fact, some of them are completely convinced that if you listen, you can hear the tortured souls of people in hell itself. It could be. The hole is an astonishing 40,230 feet deep, and apparently it took the Soviets a good 20 years to drill down that far, and yet it's still only about a third of the way through the Earth's crust and still miles away from the mantle. The whole thing ceased to continue during the upheaval of the last days of the Soviet Union. Number 16. Pravino Jezero Croatia is home to some extremely beautiful and unusual rock formations. In fact, it's becoming known for its extraordinary geological features. As more and more drones take to the skies, we're seeing our world from a whole new angle. This particular hole in the surface of the Earth is formed in the karst rock of the Croatian landscape and is the biggest sinkhole in that country. Not only is it a sinkhole, but it's also full of water, making it a very deep lake into the bargain. Known of since the 1950s, the sinkhole has been subject to exploration by the world's geologists, hydrogeologists, and other such rock enthusiasts ever since. It's believed to be about 254 meters deep, which is about 833 feet in American. This is apparently making it the third largest sinkhole in the whole wide world. Surrounded on all sides by high rock cliffs, the lake in the center is only part of the sinkhole. It actually incorporates the whole rocky space. The area attracts visitors but it's not a spot for a casual climb. This sort of formation is serious business and also super dangerous. Number 15. The Devil's Sinkhole Located near the city of Rock Springs in Edwards County, Texas, the somewhat scarily titled Devil's Sinkhole is actually a natural habitat for bats, specifically the Mexican free-tailed bat, which lives there in huge numbers. The place can only be visited by booking in advance. First discovered by locals all the way back in 1876, it would eventually be open to the public in 1992. This vertical natural bat habitat is actually a massive hole in the ground, carved out over a long period of time by water erosion. The opening to the Devil's Sinkhole measures 40 by 60 feet and has a deep, deep drop of 400 feet. All of that lovely sinkholey space is home to many millions of bats, which can be seen emerging from the hole at sunset from April through October. Number 14. The Great Blue Hole this diver's dream is located in Belize and offers a unique experience to divers who make it through alive. That's no easy thing to do. There are numerous and elaborate ways in which this deep hole is trying to kill anyone who dares to venture inside. The three main causes of death amongst divers in this place are the lack of experience by the divers themselves, which can be a fatal way to get things wrong. Secondly, the clarity of the water creates all kinds of illusions, which can disorient and confuse the diver. And thirdly, there are loads of sharks in there. 
So that's a multitude of dangers and unpleasantnesses that await anyone who's bold or daft enough to attempt it. But given the fact that this 125 meter deep hole has claimed so many lives, it's a wonder that anyone still attempts it at all. So unless you're an expert diver, this is one that's likely best avoided if you want not to die, that is. Number 13. Darvaza Gas Crater Back in 1971 in the Soviet Union, in present-day Turkmenistan, a drilling rig stumbled upon the gates of hell. Or at least it goes something like that anyways. The Darvaza gas crater, also known rather menacingly as the gates of hell, has been causing a kerfuffle ever since it was first accidentally opened. The drilling uncovered an underground cavern, and when that cavern collapsed, it formed a massive deep pit which measured more than 300 feet across. Not only were they now left with a gigantic hole, but that big old hole was now leaking out noxious gases. So they did what any good Soviet-era drilling rig team would do. They set it on fire and then left for a few days. Well, it turned out that when they came back, that nasty hole was still on fire. In fact, many decades later, it still is. So it would appear that the entrance to hell may indeed be opened up and exists to this day in Central Asia. The trouble is that 40 years worth of open fossil fuel burning is less than ideal and also a massive waste of natural gas. It's also a bit of a bummer, but in terms of disruption, the location of this fiery pit in the middle of the desert is less problematic than some other long-burning blunders in history. At least it's not like the 1962 trash fire in Centralia, Pennsylvania that accidentally caught a coal seam on fire and has been burning ever since, causing the whole place to be evacuated and abandoned due to all the poisonous carbon monoxide that it spews out all the live long day. However, it does look as though time has finally come for the door to hell to be closed. In January of 2022, the leader of Turkmenistan Afghanistan announced that the door to hell would finally be shut. He stated that the burning hole was wasting valuable resources and it was high time that the flames were extinguished. So far, not so much though. This isn't the first time that this same announcement has been made. Back in 2010, the government of Turkmenistan stated that they would be extinguishing the fire and yet the task has still never been accomplished. So fingers crossed that they have better luck this time around. Number 12. Kimberly Mine Known by many as simply the Big Hole, the Kimberley Mine in South Africa is an open pit and underground mine located in Kimberley, which is claimed to be the deepest hand-excavated hole on the planet. But since no Guinness officials have been there to confirm this with all of their mad measuring skills, that claim remains disputed. The Big Hole has a storied history which, in and of itself, may account for some of this place's reputation as being extremely dangerous. It was a diamond mine, you know. And those places not only caused conflict or exploited it, but they were also guilty of extremely dangerous working conditions which could turn deadly. Digging began in earnest in 1871, and within a year a number of men digging there had expanded to around 50,000. That's a whole lot of manpower if you want to dig a big old massive hole. Number 11. Chand Maori. The Chanbaori Step Well is located in a village in India. It's one of the oldest of the region's step wells and is considered to be one of the biggest in the whole entire world of deep holes. This massive square structure doesn't look like any other regular old well. Oh no! Rather, it's 13 stories deep with 3,500 narrow steps ranged in neat and perfect symmetry all the way down to the bottom of the murky green watered well. It was built during the 9th century to provide surrounding areas with a dependable drinking water supply, and obviously it's no longer in use, hence the gross green water at the bottom of these days, but it did function effectively for many centuries. The thousand-year-old construction is now a tourist destination with an adjoining temple as well for funsies. Number 10. Kennecott Copper Mine for over a hundred years, the Kennecott Copper Mine has been part of the landscape of Salt Lake City in Utah. This mine began its operations all the way back in 1906 and was originally an underground copper mine, which ultimately became the world's largest man-made excavation and the deepest open pit mine. Such exciting accolades, I'm sure. The mine produces 1% of the copper supply of the world. This big hole does not come without significant drawbacks for the environment, however. There's been a significant amount of contamination in the ground 
groundwater in Salt Lake County. Historically, the Kennecott Copper Mine has been responsible for other issues, which includes two groundwater plumes, and there have been various aquifier-related contaminations. As a result, many efforts to begin to fix the problem have begun. One solution currently includes attempts to improve the water purity by using reverse osmosis. This is a process by which the water has its ions separated to remove any unwanted molecules and bigger particles from drinking water. In other words, it's a lot of work to undo the damage that's been done by many mining processes. Number 9. Dean's Blue Hole now, I don't know who this Dean guy is, but perhaps he should see a doctor about it all. It sounds kind of unpleasant. Apparently, the term blue hole is what sinkholes are that are filled with water that have an entrance which is beneath the surface of the water. This particular blue one is actually located in a bay to the west of Clarence Town on Long Island. It's a favorite spot for free diving. In April of 2010, a professional diver named William Truebridge broke a free diving world record when he reached a depth of 302 feet without even the use of fins. Later in that same year, he went even further when he swam to a bends inducing depth of 331 feet on just a single breath without anything more than his hands and feet to propel himself. But these kinds of crazy activities and record attempts are not without their risks. That is part of the attraction for some people, after all. So, when in 2013, a free diver named Nicholas Mevoli dove in the blue hole in an attempt to break the American record, he sadly died during his efforts. Number 8. The Batagaka Crater if a place is known as the doorway to the underworld, then you can probably establish that it's not an especially pleasant sort of place. But that's just one of the names by which this crater is known. Another term which is often used in association with this colossal hole in the Earth's surface is mega slump. How nice! It turns out that the doorway to the underworld is getting bigger and deeper every year, which figures really given how many humans seem to be heading that way, but I digress. This crater actually began to form after massive deforestation in the area destabilized the soil and altered the climate of the region. Yes, if you remove all of the trees from a space, it does cause the area to suffer. In this case, the ground no longer had the cooling effect of the trees to protect the permafrost, so that all began to melt during the warmer months of the year, and this in turn would cause the soil itself to begin to collapse. Then, to add insult to injury, the melting of the permafrost released carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere, which then managed to increase the warming of the area, making more of the permafrost melt and thus causing further collapse. Over and over, the effects of the deforestation just keep on increasing the same problem and making a bigger and bigger hole in the surface of the Earth. Just imagine if it keeps on growing where it could end up. Number 7. Zhaoza Tin King this is the hole that claims to be the world's biggest, and that's quite a claim indeed. But the thing with this big old hole is the debate around what actually formed it in the first place. This particular sinkhole is located in a rural area of southwestern China. It's 660 meters deep, which is over 2,165 feet, and it has a volume of up to 130 million cubic meters. That's a whole lot. These numbers make this the deepest and largest sinkhole on the whole planet, apparently, but some some experts in massive holes seem to think that this one was formed by a meteorite crashing into the Earth over a bazillion years ago, and others think that it was probably formed over 100,000 plus years as water carved the limestone in underground rivers. However it happened to arrive, it certainly is very deep indeed. <laughs> Funnily enough, the word Tian King actually means the heavenly pit, which is an interesting image since more often than not, a pit or a hole in the earth is associated with the idea of hell or the underworld rather than being heaven. Number 6. Mere Diamond Mine 
We've already seen the world's largest man-made hole, that was in Utah, remember, at the Kennecott Copper Mine in Salt Lake City, but this big old hole is the second biggest man-made hole in the planet Earth. The thrills just never end. This big-ass hole is located in Mirny in Russia. It is the Mir Diamond Mine in the eastern part of Siberia. The pit would be opened in 1955 and was established to meet the Soviet Union's requirements for industrial-grade diamonds after the Second World War. During the peak years of the mine's operation, it was producing more than 10 million carats of diamonds every year, and many of these were actually gem-quality stones. Nowadays, the gigantic hole is 1,722 feet deep and 3,900 feet wide. It's a huge and lasting scar on the landscape, even though it's no longer being used for open pit mining. Underground mining, however, does continue to this day. You can't just go and take a look at the place, though, even if you do happen to be passing through Siberia. And who doesn't want to do that from time to time? Only those with special permits will be granted access, and apparently anyone found loitering nearby will likely get into a spot of bother with the suspicious locals. Number 5. Well of Hell the strange and otherworldly well of Barhut in the far east of Yemen looks, when viewed from above, like a huge eyeball staring out of the earth. And that's just weird. But apparently this big hole in the ground is an entirely natural phenomenon. Also known as the Well of Hell, this 367-foot deep hole has a bit of a reputation. There are many sinister stories that are associated with the place, and it's so spooky that people believe that visiting this place, or even just talking about it, can bring people bad luck. There's also the notion that it's where bad spirits, or uncontrollable jinn as they're known in this culture, are imprisoned. These bad jinn will claim the literal head of anyone who goes to the bottom of the well. Apart from the dangerous ghosts, there's also the issue of wild animals nearby. And on top of all these things, apparently it's also possible to hear screaming and strange voices from beneath. Well, that all sounds like a big barrel of laughs. It's an extraordinary sight to behold, however, and some have even dared to descend and apparently have managed to return to the surface with their heads still attached to their bodies as well. Number 4. Sinkholes in Turkey a worrying phenomenon has been taking place across the plains of Turkey. This is the sudden appearance of many sinkholes seemingly out of nowhere. Sinkholes are depressions or holes in the ground that are caused by a collapse of some kind or another in the surface layers of the earth. They can occur gradually over time or appear very suddenly. They're found worldwide and perhaps are becoming more common where deforestation and excessive use of groundwater and other human activities are destabilizing the ground beneath our feet. These sinkholes have apparently been suddenly forming all over the Turkish plains. It's an especially worrying situation since this region is predominantly farming land on which the country relies for food production. As many as 600 of these sinkholes were counted in 2021 alone, this was double the number that was observed a year before. With the passing of time, the sinkholes creep ever so closer to people's homes. Number 3. The Black Hole of Andros this big dark hole is so very large that it's now possible to see it from space kind of like the opposite of black holes in space, in fact. Located about 100 kilometers from Nassau in the Bahamas, the black hole of Andros is a mysterious and barely explored formation. This is one of several round holes that are filled with black water in the region. They were initially explained as meteorite craters, but closer studies have revealed that they're a kind of sinkhole formed by the dissolution of rock and such like in the landscape. It's not an easy environment in which to explore. First of all, they're located in mud flats, and unlike similar blue holes, these are dark and forbidding by nature. There's a delicate balance in the ecosystem within these formations, and visitors are discouraged as they may easily damage and disrupt the situation. When a group of divers and scientists first investigated this big black hole, they were surprised to discover that the water itself is actually crystal clear, but the mud at the bottom, about 17 meters down, is black and hot and it has a texture that's more like jelly than it is mud. It turns out that this is a bacterial layer that's made up of phototropic purple sulfur bacteria, which need light and sulfur to survive. Nice. Number two, Dragon Hole. 
This is the Dragon Hole, which also goes by the name of Yongol Blue Hole, apparently after a Ming Dynasty emperor. It's located in the south of China Sea, about 5.6 miles to the north of Drummond Island, in the Paracel Islands. The thing that makes this particular blue hole stand out from all the other blue holes on the planet of ours is its extraordinary depth. In fact, the Dragon Hole has recently been given the honor of being named as the world's deepest blue hole. And it is very deep indeed, measuring 987.2 feet deep, a full 330 feet deeper than old Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas that we probed about in earlier. There are actually a few freshwater holes that are deeper, but this is a sea-based hole, and it has its own category, apparently. This big blue hole is located in a place where studying its depths is rather tricky because of other existing geographical challenges, and for this reason, the hole had not been properly poked about in until new research methods were developed that allowed scientists to study the hole. Number 1. Giant Hole in Antarctica Sometimes the winter ice that covers the surface of the Weddell Sea in Antarctica forms an enormous hole. Back in 2016 and 17, just such a great big hole appeared, and it got all the scientists especially excited. It seems as though these holes do occasionally appear in the massive big ice that covers most of Antarctica. Even bigger ones had apparently appeared there several decades before. But with all the snazzy new technologies that are available these days, scientists had the opportunity to really examine and monitor the movements like never before. They used satellite imagery, robotic drifters, and even some of those seals that they fitted with sensory equipment to keep watch over the shifting ice. They concluded that these holes could appear as the result of several different phenomena. These were things like unusual conditions in the ocean and some very intensive storms that had formed over the area, which had displayed almost hurricane levels of wind. Well, whoever knew that ice holes were so very exciting? Thanks for joining us as we probed some of the strangest holes on planet Earth. What a fun time we've had together. Which of these holes caught your attention, and have you ever seen any stranger ones? As always, let me know all about it in the comments section down below. You know you want to. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.